Hey, Ichiban. Wanna grab a drink with me? Sure. But you really know how to knock him back, Sachan. Promise me you'll keep it to one or two. Oh, come on. It's no big deal if we drink more than that. It's not like I'm gonna make a move on ya. <laughs> well, that's a bummer. So, hey, you're technically still a mama at a hostess club, right? Yeah, but I didn't found the place. I was promoted to mama after Nonomiya saw that I was the best hostess there. <laughs> if you're that good a hostess, you'll be bored drinking with me. I ain't much for clever conversation. Don't be so hard on yourself. It takes practice. I definitely wasn't a natural at it. But neither of us is looking for tips right now, so who cares? <laughs> okay. So what's happening with the club now? Still going strong, even without Nonomiya? I've got the girls holding down the fort. They should be fine, barring any earthquakes. Or ex-boyfriends. Oh, pretty impressive that you trust your staff to run the whole joint. They know the basics of the business. I'm the kind of mama who teaches her youngsters well. If you do say so yourself. <laughs> well, I do. But of course, it was that desire to educate that caused all the drama in my family. Was that all the stuff with Nanoha and your dad that you mentioned before? Yeah. Well, at least things have simmered down among us recently. Thanks to you guys. My dad's in a real nursing home now, and Nanoha's looking for a more legit job like she had before. So you call them pretty often? Oh, no. Never. I just have my hostesses secretly check in on them every now and then. Nanoha doesn't want to see me. She'd be furious. Why? You two really can't get along? That's an understatement. I haven't seen her in seven years. I do call her up sometimes, but she never wants to meet in person. I'd like to, though, and I tell her that. She turns me down every time. <laughs> Guess I have no one to blame but myself, really. I'm listening. It's a boring story. Are you sure you want to hear it? That's right, you do. I don't care if it's so boring it puts history professors to sleep. As long as it's from you, I'm all ears. So I have your express permission to rant for the next ten hours, and you'll sit here and listen? Hell yeah. <laughs> well, that's sweet of you. Thanks. So, go ahead. How come you don't get along with Nanoha? Come on, what are friends for if you can't bore them a little every once in a while? Go on, spill your troubles. We all need a special friend who's always there for you, ready to talk, ready to dry your tears. <laughs> this is why I like you, Ichiban. You can say something straight out of a cheesy shonen manga and actually mean it. Thanks. So, go ahead. How come you don't get along with Nanoha? <laughs> yeah, that's me. And why not? I love shonen manga. I'm sure I'll like your story, too. <laughs> no way do you really mean that. It's true. Now oh, come on, let me hear it. <laughs> okay, if you're going to beg, I guess I have to tell you. Thanks. Uh, so, go ahead. How come you don't get along with Nanoha? Well, I think it's because I was just too controlling. I always had something to say about everything she did. My mom was sick throughout our whole childhood, so I felt like I had to take care of my shy little sister. Little sister? But you're the same age, unless there's a new kind of twin I don't know about? Of course we're the same age. Her personality just always made her seem younger. She was so timid. I was the one with the guts, just like mom. It's probably why mom trusted me more than dad. He was closer to Nanoha since she took after him. I gotcha. Dad wasn't earning much from the little company he ran back then. I tried to help him out by getting a part-time job in high school. Didn't take me long to figure out nightlife entertainment was where the real money was. 
Pretty soon, I was essentially the breadwinner of the family. And after Mom died, even more so. All I wanted was for Nanoha to get into a good college and live an honest life. But you think that came off as controlling to her? Yeah. I told her which college to go to. Insisted she become some sort of white-collar professional. But the straw that really broke the camel's back was me chiming in about her new boyfriend. I listed every red flag I could possibly think of, then I asked her if the dude raised any of them. What, like you made a physical list? <laughs> yeah. Stuff like being dirty, acting douchey at restaurants, condescending towards women, always name dropping. There were a lot. I went too far, honestly. But you know what? The bastard did fit a lot of them. She was like, oh, but he's getting it together. He's starting a consulting firm. But I told her to dump his ass. I'm betting she didn't like that. No, she did not. She threw stuff, screamed herself hoarse, cried. Even my freaking dad cried seeing all the drama. Oh, jeez. It was that intense? I think it always bothered him that he couldn't make enough money to help my mom. He was embarrassed I made more than he did. I remember, after he found out what my pay was, he just started doing whatever I said. And then all of a sudden, during this fight, he started sobbing about how he should have helped Nanoha break free from me. Sounds like he was finally letting out everything he'd bottled up. Yeah. And it turned out Nanoha's boyfriend problem was just the beginning. Because in that moment, I realized my family was distancing themselves from me. Sachan. It was, um, seven or eight years ago when I decided to leave home and just focus on work. Imagine how it felt when Nonomiya called and told me about this new family trouble. How Nanoha chose to work at a soapland instead of asking me for help. I was shocked. I really was. And just in case it ever comes up, we're all supposed to pretend you don't know she was working at Otohime Land, right? Knowing my sister, she'd die of embarrassment if she found out I know. Well, then the charade must go on. Oh, <laughs> I think I had one too many after all. I didn't plan on talking for so long. But thanks for getting a drink with me, Ichiban. Everyone's going through something. Having a friend to talk to just makes it a little easier. Yo, Sachan. Are you drinking by yourself? Yeah. Isn't it pathetic? Sit down and help me save what's left of my pride. Huh? Everything all right? Well, you could say some stuff's happened. Oh, okay. I get it. Was there trouble over at the club you run? <laughs> Didn't I tell you I taught the girls how to run the place? Trouble's non-existent over there. Well, I know, but with Nonomiya song gone, you're steering this boat all by yourself. It must be hard. I know for me it would be. Hmm. That's very perceptive of you. It's true there's been some small issues here and there, but I've been handling them just fine. That's not what's bothering me. Then what is? It's my sister, Nanoha. What's going on with her? Something happened? Well, I'm here if you want to talk about it. Can't say I have much experience in this area, but the least I can do is help you understand how a man's heart works. What are you talking about? Oh, uh, I, I, I figured you were upset because of some fight with your boyfriend. I don't have a boyfriend. Huh? Really? <laughs> I can't believe you gave me that look and said that. Oh, that cheers me up all by itself. Oh, come on. Why are you making it into such a big deal? 
Can we just get into what's really eating you? Yeah, it's my sister, Nanoha. What's going on with her? Something happened? I already know your hair's naturally curly, after all. Hmm? How do you know that? There are some strands here and there that look like they escaped your straightener. Oh, yeah. Well, lately my hair doesn't stay straight as long as it used to. My guess is you were trying to get it nice and smooth this morning, it took forever, and that's why now you want to get a drink that's nice and smooth. You're more observant than you look, Ichiban. <laughs> But actually, I'm more upset about my sister than my hair right now. What's going on with her? Something happened? Remind me, how much did I tell you about my family while we were drinking the other night? You said you were too controlling when it came to Nanoha and your dad. Eventually there was a big fight and he left home. That was seven or eight years ago. And did I tell you the reason for that fight? Yeah, it was because you told Nanoha to break up with some chump. The boyfriend with the consulting firm? Okay, so I spilled all the beans. <laughs> anyway, his name's caught Suragawa, and apparently they're still together. Damn. Longer relationship than I've ever been in. If he wasn't so damn annoying, I might let this go. But Katsuragawa's a criminal. He's even been seen going in and out of Seiryu Clan HQ. Not to mention, he's dangerous and walks around with his own personal posse. He used to run with a biker gang. I mean, I've heard nothing but bad rumors about him since I left home. <laughs> Not a lot really knows how to pick him, huh? Shut up. I've got some girls from the club looking into him right now. I hope they can find out more. Trying really hard not to worry here since I can't do anything but wait. Ah, uh, so that's why you're drinking away your troubles in here. Yeah, well, <laughs> now that I've talked to you about it, I feel a bit better. Maybe I'll skip the next round. Oh, let's not start talking crazy now. <laughs> Right. Uh, yeah, okay. Thanks for letting me know. What's up, Sachan? Looking kind of down there. Oh, Ichiban. Something happened on the phone? Just uh, more Nanoha drama. I'm starting to get all too clear a picture of that jerk she's dating. Oh, yeah. Katsuragawa, right? The consulting guy, or whatever. The girls from the club looked into him? They saw him with Nanoha on a date. Look at this picture they took. And that's Nanoha and Katsuragawa? Yeah. Doesn't he look shady as hell? What is she thinking? Hey, I get what you're saying, but you can't judge someone just from the way they look. Okay, take a look at this picture then. See the guy in the background with the sunglasses? His name's Yamashita, and he's like the bodyguard in Katsuragawa's creepy little posse. Bringing a bodyguard on a date? Yeah, that's definitely out of the ordinary. You think? And to make matters worse, the girls told me the conversation he had with Nanoha. It was 100% bad news. I'm sure Katsuragawa has it in for her. What do you mean? What did you girls hear? Katsuragawa's consulting firm isn't doing so hot right now, so he wants to borrow money from Nanoha. How much? Two million. He decided a date was a good time to ask for a huge loan? <laughs> I think even I've got more game than this guy. But anyway, Nanoha said no, right? I mean, she needs that money to support her dad. Actually, when my dad switched facilities, Nanoha found out she had a little more spending money. Apparently, she's already lent him 500,000, and now he's asking for 2 million more! Seriously? Good. Even if Nanoa has that much to spare, she should be saving it for her future. And Katsuragawa knows that. But somehow, he found out Nanoha used to work at Orohime Land. He did? So he asked her to go back and start making bank again. What? 
And this is the guy who didn't even bother to help her when she was in trouble. In fact, I think he basically stopped calling her right after Dad started to need round-the-clock care. But now that that's dealt with, and Katsuragawa knows about Nanaha's stint at the Soapland, he's trying to schmooze his way back in. I mean, Nanoha's not an idiot. She can always just change the subject whenever he asks for money, can't she? Don't you remember how she wanted to go out with him way back when I first said no? She was head over heels for him back then. I don't know how she feels now, but... It sounded like she held off on saying yes or no, but... I'm afraid she might actually go back to the Soapland. You think so? Damn, this guy's a piece of work. If he really does roll with the biker gang, it must be as the shit stuck on their tires. What other kind of guy would be pushing his girlfriend to work at a soap land? To cover for his failures! So you're having the exact same thoughts as me. Nice to know I'm not crazy. Crazy? Sajan, even if he wasn't such a bastard, Nanoha could still do better. We gotta get him away from her, before she gets scammed and hung out to dry. But Nanoha never listens to me. She's not about to start now. You can keep trying, as long as you don't give Nanoha the impression that you're saying any of this out of anger. Which actually is true. You're doing this because you care about her, alright? Yeah, of course. Then you gotta make her feel that way. I hope so. I'm terrible when it comes to choosing words and saying them in the right tone. Well, it's not like I know much about being in a real family like yours. But what I did learn from the different sort of family I was in... His words don't matter as much as your feelings. You're right. Thank you, Ichiban. Whatever happens, calling her will show I care. Cool. Here's hoping it goes well. Sorry to make you listen to all my family drama, Ichiban. Well, if she won't listen to you, maybe she'll listen to me. <laughs> what? You? Why not? We both used to work at Otohime Land, so it's not like we're complete strangers. But yeah, just leave it to me. She and Katsuragawa are history. Well, wait a second. If you go meet up with her, don't you think she's gonna wonder how you know about Katsuragawa? I'll just say Saiko told me. No, you can't tell her that you and I know each other. Huh? Think about it from Nanoha's perspective. She'll say to herself, if Saiko knows about this, then she must know about the Soap Land. Don't you see? Hmm. Guess you have a point there. My bad. It's okay. I can tell how much you care about this, and I really appreciate it. I don't know what good it will do, but I'll give her a call. Never hurts to try. All right. Good luck. Sorry to make you listen to all my family drama, Ichiban. How long has it been since you tried convincing her to break up with Katsuragawa? Seven? Eight years, right? Yep. And it sparked the huge fight. What exactly did you say to her back then? I don't actually remember too well. It got heated so fast. Well, what if that was the problem? What? When you use strong emotions to try to persuade someone, they just give you strong emotions right back. What if this time, you kept it cool and gave her a few good logical reasons to dump Katsuragawa? Act like you're neutral about it, you know? You're right. If I get myself or her all worked up, it'll only make it harder for her to think clearly. That's great advice. Thank you. I'll lay it all out calmly this time. Great. Do that, and don't give up. Sorry to make you listen to all my family drama, Ichiban. It's no problem. I care about Nanoha too. She's my ex-co-worker, after all. Still... thanks. No way is this over. Wonder what'll happen. <laughs> look at me. I'm just as nosy as Sachan.
Yo, Sachan. Oh, Ichiban. Perfect timing. Listen to this. Well, what's up? Oh, is it about Nanoa? Yeah. I worked up the courage to call her and asked if she'd been caught up with any bad guys lately. And how'd that go? Um, well... Not good, huh? Gotta say, I wouldn't have started with the bad guys line. I just couldn't find the right thing to say. Yeah, I know it's hard. But all that matters is getting Nanoha away from that dirt bag. I don't know. We've been apart for so many years, I was probably way out of line to tell her to break up with her boyfriend. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't even take my calls if she knew I've been checking up on her this entire time. But at least she still doesn't realize I know about her being employed at a soap land. She can never find out, not ever. I'll pretend not to know for the rest of our lives if I have to. But how do I help her without letting on what I know? If I do nothing, Katsuragawa might bankrupt her and she'll end up right back at the soap land. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? I'm freaking out! Well, I guess I'll just have to use my ace in the hole. Huh? You've had a plan this whole time? I sure do. You introduce Nanoha to a guy who's better than her boyfriend. Then she'll drop that loser like a rock. No way. Her heart is a complete mystery. I mean, we're talking about a woman who fell in love with Katsuragawa. Hear me out. You bring in a shining stud that makes all the other dudes look like ass. I bet he'll catch your eye. Okay, but you're forgetting I don't know any guys like that. Where do I find a stud? Come on. I'm sure he's closer than you think. Where? You're looking at him! <laughs> you think you're the dreamy type, Ichiban? That's even funnier than your hair! <laughs> well, I wasn't joking. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Ooh, if it helps, I definitely feel more cheerful about this now. <laughs> uh, good shit, then. Okay, what else can we do? There has to be something. Calm down, Sachan. If I calm down, then what? That doesn't solve anything! Hey, maybe they'll just break up on their own. Winter's a popular time to dump people, I've heard. What? Why around winter? Because, you know, women change their minds during winter. What's the saying? A woman's mind and winter wind change often? Or some shit? Ugh, idiot. You're about to feel the winter wind of my foot up your ass. Sorry. Ugh. I can't believe you'd say something so stupid right now. Well, um, hey. At least it seems my stupidity calmed you down a bit. Only because I need to stay calm if I want to figure this out. Okay, what else can we do? There has to be something. Wish I could help. Well, how about some herbal tea? Herbal tea? I need a drink! Something to numb all this anxiety! Numbing your feelings ain't gonna do shit. What you need right now is to clear your mind and think of a solution. And herbal tea usually helps people clear their mind, right? Jasmine tea especially. Takes the stress right out of you. Why do you, of all people, know about herbal tea? <laughs> I, I gotta admit, that's just something I read in a magazine once. Well does sound nice. Yeah? Wanna order some? No, that's okay. I think I'm pretty calm now. Okay, what else can we do? There has to be something. Well, if you really don't think we can convince Nano how to dump them, I don't know. Mm. <sighs> Wait, we've been looking at this all wrong. We need to get Katsuragawa to stay away from Nanoha, not the other way around. How are you gonna do that? beat him up and run him out of town? If he were the kind of guy to give up just like that, sure. But he probably isn't. Especially now that he knows Nanoha's willing to be his piggy bank. If we screw this up, he might even take her with him when he bails. I can't let that happen. I think what we gotta do is crush his pride. Like, 
get Nanoha to break up with him without shedding a single tear, as if he's nothing to her. And how do we do that? <laughs> it's so obvious, Sachan. Haven't you caught on yet? To what? You pretend to be Nanoha and break up with them. Use the twin angle to your advantage. Yeah, march in and tell Katsuragawa you never want to see him again. I'll stand there and look intimidating while you give him the boot. That'll have him running. I see. That might actually work. Let's do it. All we need is to find out where Katsuragawa's hanging out. Your employees could probably do that, right? No problem. I'll tell the girls to start looking for him right away. Great. We wait for their word, and we move in for the kill. It'll go fine. I'll be right there with you to make sure he doesn't give you trouble. <laughs> it's a date. Good thinking today, Ichiban. I'll go tell the girls to start asking around. <laughs> she and her sister are a handful. And it feels like we're finally gonna wrap this up. Yo, Sachan. Huh? Uh, Sachan? Uh, wait. You're not Sachan? It's nice to see you again, Kasuga-san. We met at Sunlight Castle, isn't that right? Wait. Are you Nanoha-san? But why are you here? Who told you to meet me? Ichiban! Look closer! It's me, Saiko! Oh, so it is you, Sachan. If you can't see through it, then my performance must be good. I'm sure Katsuragawa will think I'm Nanoha too. No, for sure he will. Even though, <clears throat> actually, I was just pretending to be tricked. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Anyway, I figured out where to find Katsuragawa. Nanoha's gonna pay him a surprise visit and tell him to hit the road. You're still coming with me, right? He's at his office right now. He said it was a consulting firm, but it's actually an illegal loan business. And his bodyguard and his employees, they were all in that shady biker gang he used to be in. Scum collects around other scum. Man, how did Nanoha get caught up with people like that? She might just be the kind of girl who's into it. Or maybe I shouldn't have butted into her life so much. You probably understand by now how bad I feel about all this. Hey, maybe it wasn't you. Maybe she's just the kind of girl who's into bad boys. Either way, let's go fix this for her. Time to take out the trash. Wait, what the fuck? Are you serious right now? I knew something was up with you. Showing up out of the blue like this. What's gotten into you? You realize what you're doing? I sure as hell do. I'm saying I won't give you any more money. Okay, but... And that means you have no reason to be with me, right? So we're breaking up. For good. Oh, come on, babe. Don't be stupid. It's not like I was going out with you just for the money. Well, it doesn't matter anymore. Just give me what you owe me. Right here, right now. What? I can't right now. I, I gotta throw two million at my company soon, or it'll go belly up. Sweetie, you know how hard I've worked for this. I just need a little more. You can pull in two mil back at the Soapland easy. Hey, man, I gotta ask. How much have you already borrowed from Nanoa? Hey, man, I gotta ask. How about you fuck right off? If she lent you two million on top of everything else, how much of that total do you plan on paying back someday? You need to crawl back down out of my ass, dude. This ain't none of your business. You don't know, do you? Yeah, you want to borrow even more. You're lucky Nanoha's not a real loan shark. I'm lucky because Nanoha and I are in love. Money don't matter to us, right, babe? These fucking tightwads. It's 1.3 million yen. That's the amount of money Katsuragawa-san has already borrowed from Nanoha-san. 
Hey, Yamashita, stay out of this. Nobody asked you. Uh, uh, forgive me. It wasn't my place. Nah, thanks for speaking up, Yamashita. Good man. So, we'll be taking that 1.3 million back today. Who are you anyway? You're a real Yakuza-looking motherfucker. Maybe you're trying to take my girl's money for yourself. That's none of your concern. Give me back my money so I can be on my way. Nanoha, I love you. Come on. Remember what you said? How you always dreamed of what we have? Nanoha really loved you that much? We're perfect for each other. Honey, you're a sweet angel. And I'm the guy who protects you from all the bastards of the world. Ah, oh, so that's the excuse you've been using for dragging her down. He's one of the bastards I'm talking about! Yamashita, what are you waiting for? Toss this guy out on his ass already! No. Haven't you done enough? What? What did you say? Sir, step back and take a look at yourself. You need to let Nano Hassan go. She's been working herself to the bone to support her father. She needs the money. And besides, you've got a bunch of other girls coming around anyway. What the hell are you doing? I'm doing what's right, boss. You can't just keep squeezing the poor girl dry. And she shouldn't have to work at no damn soapland. I can't just sit by and watch this happen to an innocent woman. It, it just ain't right. Yo, why don't you think about who you're talking to? I'm the guy who saved your ass when you were a zit-faced teenager, remember? So unless you want to go back to being everybody's little bitch... <laughs> Every time someone calls you out or wants to leave your ass, you just make threats? Are all your boys with you just out of fear? I bet they all hate your guts. Alright, I'm just fucking sick of you now. All of you, stop standing around with your dicks in your hands and throw this guy out! Yamashita too, you goddamn traitor! <laughs> Can't see I didn't see this guy. Well, except for Yamashita-kun acting like a real man. That was a nice surprise. No kidding. You know, I've been looking for an excuse to cut ties with him. Maybe it's even simpler than that. Maybe you just like Nanawa. Yeah, maybe that's it. Wait, you do, don't you? <laughs> well, that's great, Yamashita Goon. Kinda cute, honestly. Yeah, yeah, you'll both be real cute after I crush you into little pieces. Amen. Ass kicking time. You're gonna go. Cool. Hitting me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on, where's all that fighting spirit, Katsuragawa? <laughs> Don't tell me you've had enough. <sighs> Give back all the money you borrowed from Nanoha right now, then get the hell out of Yijincho. If I see you around town again, I'll kick your ass even harder. If you reach out to Nanoha, you won't have an ass when I'm done. Okay, okay, I got it. Please, just let me go. <laughs> All right. I won't hit you again. I won't. Huh? You asshole. 
Don't you ever take advantage of a woman ever again! <laughs> Wait, are you for real? This is Nanoha's sister? She has a twin? Damn. Sorry to disappoint you, Yamashita-kun. I know you probably worked up all that courage to look cool for Nanoha. Sorry, Yamashita-kun. No, that's all right. I mean, running him off still makes life better for Nanoha-san. That's what matters. So, you're gonna keep acting like you never knew she worked at the soap land? Yes. And this whole Katsuragawa incident never happened, okay? I am dead serious about this. Okay. But she's definitely going to notice that her boyfriend suddenly skipped town without saying goodbye. And it happened right after she got a phone call from her estranged sister telling her to break up with the guy. What are you saying? You don't think she'll figure out her sis had something to do with his disappearance? <laughs> I mean, it'll almost be too obvious that Psycho said something to make him leave. Whoa. Now that you say that, yeah. That's fine, honestly. Can't really do much about it now, can I? But what if Nanoha gets pissed at you again? I thought you wanted to have a good relationship with her. Her happiness is my top priority. How she feels about me is secondary to that. It still kind of sucks if she ends up hating you after you did so much for her. She would have ended up broke if she stayed with that douchebag. You deserve some credit. I'm just grateful I can still talk to her on the phone. All I want is for her to be happy. Still... Huh. I could always tell Nanoha-san it went down like this. Like what? I'll tell her Katsuragawa's firm took a nosedive and he bailed to escape all his debts, but I got him to leave enough to pay her back. That way, she can get her money without knowing you two were involved. Nice plan. I like how it conveniently gives you all the credit, Yamashita-kun. Oh, you're right. Guess that's no good, is it? I don't want to take all the credit. After all, I only said what was true. It killed me to see you're caught up in Katsuragawa's game for so long. I kept telling myself that I would stand up for her if she ever needed it. But then I'd make excuses, telling myself it wasn't the right time. When I saw her, well, when I saw someone I thought was her, demanding what she was owed, I knew the time had come. Sachan. You hearing this? What do you think? Hey, Yamashita-kun. Yeah? Let's say you're at a restaurant or a store. How exactly would you treat the staff? I... I just try to be as polite as possible. Even though people don't expect it because of how I look, it's still the right thing to do. Okay. Well, you pass for now. <laughs> Setting the bar for being your sister squeeze kind of low, aren't you? I said for now, didn't I? Huh? Don't worry. I'm still gonna watch over Nanoha from my big sister perch somewhere. So if Yamashita-kun turns out to be a total creep, then I'll just have to step in. Whatever it takes to make her happy. I get that. I'd want the same. <laughs> You're a good sister, Sachan. I'm sure Nanoha will eventually realize that. Hopefully sooner than later. Thanks so much, Ichiban. That's twice now you've helped me save my sister. I really am grateful, you know. I'm glad you're in my life.